Well, hey everybody, Tony here. Today we're gonna check out the Work Aero Cart. The Work Aero Cart is an all-purpose wheelbarrow and dolly. As you can see on the front of the box here, this thing does a lot. So let's get it out of the box, let's put it together, and let's check it out. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to push the bell, ding, so you know when all my new videos come out. Well, here's everything that comes in the box. First impressions, the never flat tires are awesome. They're soft, they feel like rubber, but you never have to put an air in them, and they never go flat. Hence the word never flat. It says max load at 300 pounds. Next, hear that? Metal, not plastic. You know that thing's gonna hold up. Next, we have the accessories over here. Cool little advertisement shows you all the different things it can do. Here we have the accessory bag that has the instructions inside, so let's get those out. All right, like I said, in the accessories bag, you have the instructions on how to assemble. Doesn't look like there's that much to do on that. Comes with the leaf bag holder. We'll show how to put that on with the little bungee cord and sticks right in there. Put your bag in there, throw all your clippings and whatnot in it. And your cylinder holder. Could be a nice little accessory for those five gallon water bottles. Your boulder net, if you're moving boulders around, you put that underneath it, you'll be able to pick it right up. And your potted plant mover. What do we have in here? Handle. So I'm assuming this is the other handle. I'm a genius. All right, let's get the rest of this packing off of here. All right, let's get these wheels on. When you put the wheels on, you want the concave side out. If you don't know what concave is, me either. Just look for a little sticker right there. It says this side out. Put the axle through. Push it through till you see the little eyelet hole. Take your pin, stick it in. Boom, done. Again, concave side out. Put the axle through. <laughs> Put it through. Stick it in the hole. Line up the eyelet. Stick your pin in. Ready to roll. Next, let's put those handles on. Take off the little rubber caps. That's to protect it during shipping. If you have the wheelbarrow upside down, you want the hump facing up. And you want this little part here facing in towards the wheelbarrow. There's a little hole right here. See the little hole? That's what it attaches to the uh, wheelbarrow. Just take this orange knob, push it down, stick it in the hole, lock it. That easy. See? Facing up, facing in. Come over here to this side, do the same thing. Push that down. That's facing in. Boom. You're done. One of the cool features I was just reading about, this is for the dolly. So you just kind of move it over and up. See this hole right here? You can put a trailer hitch on there and move up to a thousand pound trailer around. I think that's pretty cool. All right, to put the dolly part back down, just push it to the right, push it down. Locks into place, keeps it from coming up on you, see? Need to move big potted plant or need to move a boulder and such, you just move these up. And your net and your plant mover connects to this. So again, if you're using this as a dolly, you put your finger in here, push it to the left there, drop it down, now you have a dolly. On this side, you have an orange knob. You'll pull that, and that's your tire jack. And that, that's how you turn that into wheelbarrow mode. So it moves these back a little bit, so it helps distribute the weight better. And it puts these poles down, so now you have a wheelbarrow. All right, to put it back in dolly mode, you're just going to slip this up. You'll pull this tire jack again. Box back underneath. You can store it this way, or that's when you pull out the front here for your dolly. Tell you what, Work makes another great product. That's these tables. This is the Work uh, Pegasus. 
and the work sidekick table. These things are amazing. I use them for everything. But that's a whole nother video. And again, pull this towards you, drop it down. You have a great dolly. All right, if you're mowing the grass or you're raking the leaves, you will take one of these and slide it in the slots here. Kind of pull back a little bit on that one, stick it in the slot, push it down nice and secure. Then you go get your lawn bag or your leaf lawn bag, put it here in the middle. There's a bungee cord here. Put your bag around. Now go get your kids to rake all the leaves, throw them in the bag, and just move this around wherever you need it. Or if you're mowing the grass and you have to drop those clippings off in your lawn bag, it's already open for you. No more holding the bag open and trying to get it in there or calling the wife or the kids or the kids calling you to come do it. And it is secured with these pins, so you're not gonna lose the bungee unless it breaks. But it's a work product. It's not gonna break. Another great accessory that comes with it is this. Now, with this, you can move around a big cylinder, like if you're a welder or if you um, have the propane tanks, you can move around with that. You slip this down here on the bottom one. Or if you're like us, we go through about five or six of these a week, and boy, they get tiresome taking them back and forth to the garage. You just put it on there like that, you lean this bad boy back, and you can move it wherever you need to move it. All right, when you're done, you can put those back. And again, if you want to use this in wheelbarrow mode, you'll pull the tire jack, the big orange thing right here, pull it towards you, just kind of grab right here, bring that up till it locks. And you have the great wheelbarrow. Again, does 10 to one. So if it's 100 pounds, it's only gonna weigh 10 pounds. If it's 200 pounds, it's only gonna weigh 20 pounds. Remember, you can go up to 300 pounds, so it's only 30 pounds. Because they don't put the wheels up in the very front like a normal wheelbarrow. And then factors two, which makes it a lot easier. And it's back a little bit further, so it's easier to maneuver around the yard. All right, let's put it to the test with some firewood. that make life a lot easier I'm sure glad I had this bad boy hey check out the next video when we install the aero cart wagon kit and the snow shovel of course I can't show you the snow shovel yet either because right now it's 86 degrees in October that's crazy but we definitely get that wagon kit put on there and we'll show you how that works thanks again for watching and don't forget to subscribe